Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan, and in this video I'm going to be doing a flip through of my little A6 uh, creative journal. <laughs> you can see she's getting very chunky, um, and yeah, only halfway, not even halfway through the year. So um, this is, yeah, just a creative journal, creative space. Um, I don't do a ton of journaling as in writing. Um, just kind of a personal preference, but that's just how we use this journal. But pretty much, you know, all this is the same. I do add um, a little bit to the front here, just kind of as I feel led to do that. Um, yeah, I got this little pom-pom <laughs> uh, sticker in an order, uh, so I stuck that in there. I think I added this in last month. And I think all these I added in last month as well, or April, I guess, is what I, is what I mean. <laughs> so that would be different from the flip through in March. Um, then yeah, I just I added a little bit of washi to the edges here. Other than that, everything's the same there. Uh, the monthly pages, I just decorate. Uh, oh, I forgot. I was going to put a little picture in there and I forgot to do that. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of see how I decorate the monthlies. Just uh, creative. Need to do May yet. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and flip back here. Let's see, there's March. Find April. Here we go. All right, so this is uh, starting the month of April. I have several creators that I follow over on Patreon and I'll have all of their um, Patreon pages linked below for you. Uh, but I'll kind of try to go through, like as I'm going through this and tell you kind of where stuff came from. Uh, these stickers here are from that boxed set that I just got, let me grab it here. Amazon. I showed this in my journal with me um, from last week, but it's just a set of, a huge set of stickers. So you can just kind of see that there. Um, really super cute. So I've got that. And it's linked in my Amazon favorites list, which is below in the description box. Uh, so that's where these stickers came from. Uh, I believe this is Loveland's Life. This I got from a Happy Mail package from one of my patrons, her name is Linda. Oh, and this uh, little washi strip here is also from that Happy Mail that Linda sent me. And I, when I first started doing the April spreads, I wasn't really feeling a lot of um, writing. So you'll kind of notice that these pages are sort of blank. And I haven't really decided if I want to go back through and write on them or what I want to do with these yet. So for right now, I just left them. Um, and yeah, we'll just, we'll see. Um, this came from Happy Mail from Pocket Journal Pam. These are from her as well. And I think this, these, uh, this phrase here is too. Um, this is from the Planner Society. And then I just used a stamp here to put those flowers down. Uh, this page was really fun to do. I used uh, Tattered Angels, which is like a spray, uh, like a pump spray paint. Uh, it has a little bit of shimmer to it and I just used uh, purple and pink and just kind of muddled it together and I think I might have used blue as well. So, And then I've got this image here, I believe is from Pocket Journal Pam. And you can kind of see that the there isn't writing the, the these pages I guess just feel sort of um, blank to me not that I do a lot of writing anyway but <laughs> like this for example um, I I need to uh, just I don't know I don't know whether it's writing I want to add to it or just some more decoration um, at the beginning of April I just like I said, I just wasn't really feeling it. I just wanted to put 
stickers and collage and paint and just kind of that sort of thing. And so, yeah, they just kind of feel a little bit plain to me, I guess. Uh, this is Pocket Journal Pam. I love that. Uh, and then here I did um, some just different images. These are from Happy Mail from Pam. I did a stencil from Linda Israel and then used um, an ink pad and a little brush. I'll show you here. You can get these makeup brushes from Amazon and they work really well with um, these Distress Oxide paint or um, ink pads from Tim Holtz. So, and then you just put the stencil down and then you just put the ink over it. So, kind of fun to do. Uh, and then this page here is blank. I wanted to do a spread for my daughter's birthday and my pictures that I had printed off got lost um, in the mail. So I need to get them reprinted <laughs> and get this spread done. So I just haven't done that yet. Um, this is just a uh, washi tape that I cut apart. And then this is from Pam's uh, Happy Mail. I did this spread on camera, it's kind of fun, just wrote about spring rain. Uh, this is, these, both of these images here are from my uh, Patreon claw sheets from March. Uh, these raindrops here are from Daisy at My Green Cow from her Patreon. Uh, this Hita girl sticker here, and then these little clouds are from that boxed sticker set that I showed you along with this flower. Um, and then, yeah, you can just see I have this April uh, little cloud here. That's from my collage pages on my Patreon. And like I said, I went through, I did several of these pages um, in a journal with me. So I'll put that in the cards if you guys want to check that out. Uh, this is Daisy, my green cow. This little girl is from that boxed sticker set. These both are my collage pages. This is from Pam, from hers. Um, love these spreads. This uh, strawberry image here, this is actually a, a napkin that I just tore part of it and stuck it down to the page. That is from a Happy Mail package from Jenny Mae June. And this as well, this little um, strawberry um, fabric. So that was fun. This card was in there too. So I just made a little tip in out of that, put in a, a picture of myself. And I had fun too making this page so you can kind of see that the um, page has the stamping on it. And that's just a full size, let me grab it here. Um, it's a full size stamp that I just got from Amazon. And it's really kind of fun to do on book pages or pages like this, just to give a little bit of, get that put away there. <laughs> just to give a little bit of, I don't know, decoration. Um, or whatever and then I had well originally I put down the color first so I just did yellow then did the stamping over it and added a piece of scrapbook paper along with some stickers and washi um these let's see this little uh negative is from Jenny Mae June's Happy Mail and I, this was in there this image and I think this one too this fabric was also in there uh, so I just made a little tip in out of that. This is Pam. I think this is Courtney Diaz, I believe. Uh, and then just some washi there on the side. But I made this um, so you could use it as a pocket if you want to. I just didn't have anything really to stick in there yet. But uh, This fabric is also from Jenny Mae June. This is, it says, uh, never settle. Kind of goes along with this um, quote here. This is from my collage sheets. This is Pam's. And then I just made that a little tip in with the sticker at the bottom. So added lots of washi. <laughs> um, yeah, so this never settle um, phrase is from Calico Collage on Etsy. And I'm really loving putting fabric in here. Um, it just kind of adds a different element, different textures. I love kind of all the threads sticking out everywhere. It just makes me happy. Kind of gives that junk journal kind of vibe. Uh, this image here and these boots are from uh, my collage sheets. 
These three are from uh, Daisy at My Green Cow. And then I just added some flowers and stars and dots and stuff over there, just little doodles um, with a Crayola Super Tip. And then did this little, I don't know, kind of viney type doodle thing. I don't know <laughs> what it is um, with a Ecoline brush marker. Uh, then this page, I uh, this is from Daisy at My Green Cow. This, I oh, I think it's uh, Courtney Diaz, I think, or it might be Pam's. It's really hard to keep it all straight sometimes. They, uh, this one is from Pam as well. And then I just added some stickers there from uh, Hobby Lobby as well. And then this one, this uh, little phrase down here is from Pam. These are Daisy, my green cow. This is Pam. And this little butterfly here is uh, from a stamp from uh, Linda Israel. So I just put some color on it and stuck that down. Uh, and then uh, Live Life Happy. I don't know where this came from. I think it was in Happy Mail, but I'm not sure where exactly. Or it might be from a die cut sticker set that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, the cat is from Pam. This is hers as well. And then I just added some uh, different washies and things kind of around the page. Okay, we're getting kind of chunky. So let's kind of fold this over here so it lays just a little bit flatter. Um, this is Courtney Diaz. This is uh, from Pam. Um, to think where that's from I can't remember um but yeah and then I just read in here about how I absolutely adore this little journal she is like my little sidekick <laughs> so that's how I feel about this journal I just love it uh this piece of collage paper in the background I think is Loveland's life um not quite for sure and then this little floral uh thing here is from my collage pages this is again from that set from Caligo Collage. It's Courtney Diaz, both of these are. And then I added some of this really pretty coral. I've been trying to use my scraps. So I have, um, I have this bag of fabric scraps and things that I've been trying to use from. And um, <laughs> yeah, I seem to add more to it than I actually use. At least that's what it seems like. I don't know. But anywho, I had this, um, both of these pieces here. I had the, the fabric and then the lace uh, in there. And so I just used Fabri-Tac, which I actually had somebody ask me what I used to glue down the fabric um, in my journal. And that's what I use. Fabri-Tac, I just get it at Walmart. It's very smelly. So make sure your room is well ventilated <laughs> because it's a little bit stinky. But it works great for... Um, fabric and lace uh, and it dries fairly quickly versus like Aileen's tacky glue or whatever it takes a little bit longer to, to dry and it's wetter so this is just um, stuck down with that fabric tack and then I just so what I did is I just ran a bead of glue down there and then I just scrunched up the fabric and then just kind of held it for a minute to let it dry so it kind of gives that ruffle effect and then I added the lace on top of that so Kind of fun and then uh this is courtney diaz both of these this is from um uh, digital images from calico collage on etsy kind of fun i'm grateful for my journal that is very true um this is from pam i believe and i just tipped it in i put one of her little girls on the back it just says find peace uh, and this quote here says my philosophy is that worrying means you suffer twice so i uh definitely agree with that so I just have that girl there and uh, just kind of a reminder to find your piece this piece of collage was from Courtney Diaz uh, collage sheets and then I just added the washi and I just uh, took some uh, Crayola super tips and just added a little bit of color in there um, I did my black Ecoline brush pen which I had never done black as a background color before um, but I kind of like how that, kind of like how that looks. So I'm just trying to use up some scraps, kind of get those used. Uh, and then this 
spread I really like. I just, I love all the interactive lace and fabric and just different things um, that I did during the month of April. It just kind of adds a little bit different um, texture and, and stuff to it. So I really like that. Um, yeah, so this is a picture. This is actually from my um, collage pages for May. And um, it's a picture that I took from our yard that I uh, just kind of shrunk down. Then uh, these are from Pam. This is Pam. I think this is from her as well. The lace is again from that, um, the scraps as is the sequins. And then this little stamp here is an actual stamp. Uh, came in some happy mail from Linda Israel. So uh, then this page again I had more fabric scraps that I wanted to add. This yarn here I stuck that down. This is uh, the sunshine image here is from uh, Daisy at My Green Cow. This Embrace Your Feelings cup is from um, Pocket Journal Pam. And then these two are Courtney Diaz. Uh, then on this page, I just started by putting down the color and then I added a piece of uh, book page that I had used that full size stamp on uh, to just give it a little texture. But this little um, postage stamp down that actually, I think it's in my um, Amazon favorites list, but grab it here. This, this is what the set looks like. Um, so it has just kind of all different kinds um, postage stamps. So that's kind of fun to use. So that's where that came from. Uh, this was in Happy Mail from Pam. This is her, both of these are her image, or her images from her um, collage pages. This again is just a scrap of fabric that I had. Um, and I don't know, it just feels kind of random, but I liked the texture of it and it has the holes in it. I don't know, just something different. These are all Courtney Diaz, all these images here. Uh, and then I just added the washi and then did these little, um, blotches of color with my equaline brush pen and then outlined it in a red fine liner so yeah so that is that's my April in my little journal I'm loving it um yeah I'm just having a lot of fun and not hold myself to a bunch of rules um for what it needs to look like or what it needs to be I'm trying really hard to not compare myself to other people's journals which is really hard I don't know if you guys struggle with that too, but I just I just noticed that I look at other people's journals and I'm like, oh, I wish my journal looked like that. And then I think to myself, but that's not me, right? So anywho, just trying to have fun with it. So that is my flip through of my April section in my little A6 journal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's always fun to flip through and and kind of revisit what I did for the month. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you liked this video. So here's a little sneak peek of my May. I haven't done any pages in May yet. I had some catching up to do in April, so I haven't started May and I'm behind because it's the 10th of May and I need to get pages done. So, all right guys, that's it for now. Have a good week, bye.